Seed-based mapping is a method for pooling and meta-analyzing neuroimaging studies that may seem contradictory. Uh, for example, the results from studies on gray matter abnormalities in OCD. Previous meta-analytical methods have commonly assessed whether studies report more statistical peaks in one region or in another, while SDMC assesses whether there is an effect in a particular region. Researchers have mostly used SDM to investigate the neural substrates of psychological functions and neuropsychiatric disorders, which may include fMRI, VVM, DTI, PET, or SBM studies. The use of SDMC software is quite straightforward. However, the most important steps for conducting a correct meta-analysis are designing an accurate meta-analysis plan and carefully collecting the data. To perform an exhaustive search, open the database of interest and enter various keywords that will allow searching for any study that might meet the inclusion criteria. Then record the number of studies retrieved and the number of studies excluded for each reason. Consider creating a Prisma flow diagram with these numbers. After reading the manuscripts of interest to find the specific data to extract, to convert z-values and p-values into t-values, click Convert Peaks in the SDMPC software. Then use positive t-values for peaks of increase and negative t-values for peaks of decrease, using the table for guidance for how to decide the sign of the t-values. In two sample studies, use positive t-values when MRI signal is higher in patients than in controls, and use negative t-values when MRI signal is...